Hmm. Well, I think it's. I don't know. Your art has officially confused me. Just like the Tully monster has confused the scientific world. Tully monster? What's that? It's one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in paleontology, and today we're going to uncover it in Tully Monster, the strangest extinct animal ever found. Zoom in. It all began on a hot summer day in 1955 in the Mazen Creek fossil beds of Illinois, where a pipe fitter and amateur fossil collector named Francis Tully was poking through piles of coal shale when he cracked open a rock and froze. Inside was something so strange than anything he'd ever seen before. The fossil showed a soft-bodied creature with a flat, paddle-like tail, a long bendy snout ending in a claw and eyes sticking out on a rigid bar. It looked like someone had mixed an eel, a squid and a cartoon alien. Tully brought the fossil to the Field Museum in Chicago, hoping the experts could identify it. But the scientists there were just as puzzled and couldn't even decide what file to put in it. The most basic level of classification. Out of ideas, they named it Tully Monstrum Gregarious or the Tully Monster. And just like that, a legend was born. For decades, paleontologists tried to imagine what life the Tully monster might have lived, probably swimming through the murky estuaries of ancient Illinois about 300 million years ago, fluttering its fins like a ribbon fish. Maybe it used its snout to snatch tiny prey or probe the mud for food. It wasn't large, about a foot long, but it must have been a sight to see, glowing under the carboniferous sunlight. But what was it really? Some scientists thought it was a worm. Others said a slug or even or a mollusk or maybe a very strange squid. Then came a twist in 2016. Researchers from Yale and the University of Leicester studied over a thousand fossils and announced the Tully monster was a vertebrate. They found signs of a notochord, a primitive backbone, keratin-based teeth and even eye pigments just like those of modern vertebrates. Suddenly, the Tully monster was declared a distinct cousin of the lampreys, one of the oldest living vertebrates on Earth. The mystery seemed solved for a moment. But then came another twist. In 2023, a group of Japanese scientists decided to re-examine the fossils with 3D scanning technology. Their findings flipped the story again. Those vertebrate features may be not a vertebrate after all. The supposed gills and fins didn't match any known backboned creature and the body had unusual segments even in the head, something no vertebrate has. Their verdict, the Tully monster might instead be an invertebrate caught at something like a modern lancelet, or maybe it's still just one of a kind. And that's the beauty of the Tully monster. Even after many decades, it continues to defy every label scientists throw at it. Was it a fish, a worm, a cosmic joke of evolution? Nobody knows for sure, but one thing's clear. The Tully monster proves that science is never truly finished. There's always another fossil 
waiting to surprise us. Trivia time! Did you know the Tully monster's eyes were packed with pigment granules like humans? Also, fossil evidence suggests variations in melanin density, meaning the Tully monster could have had striped or spotted skin. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Lehansa Vesum Paruma. Hope you learned something strange today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. So, Kitty, now tell me about your strange creature. Oh, never mind. <laughs>